one challenge that I want to take upon is what is the speaker that you hate the most? Oh, that I hate the most? <laughs> you look so disgusted every time you talk about it and mention it. I think it's hilarious. Oh, is it the Mika speaker? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what Even are you worse. talking about here, man? Uh, the Jamo uh, or Yamo? No, no, it's the, the 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 it's the one that's supposed to be uh it's the one that's supposed to be like a you know for studio monitoring and it has like oh the worst God. response ever. Yeah, no, In that's that I do not like that that speaker. I, I wanna I, I wanna buy one. <laughs> don't do it, man. Please don't hold on. It. Okay. I'll tell you why though. Where where is this? Uh it's the one that you just recently had on your video where you're doing a shootout of like inexpensive speakers and you were just yeah. like don't get these just don't get them if you oh, want to get them, my link, but don't get them <laughs> yeah or not the edifier i'm sorry it's the presonus eris presonus okay. yeah that's the one eris. i said where, if this sounds good to you get your ears checked okay <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll tell you why i want to take on this challenge okay all right because uh here let me zoom in a little bit you gonna tell my... me it's got good directivity yeah can Dude, can i eat that thing are you telling me a small speaker that's huh? fine because it's a small speaker, that's the okay. only reason. It's near that's field, but look, 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 look. Because this is definitely the worst, one of the that's worst frequency response on axis, off listening window, everything. If anybody tells you those speakers sound great, never trust that person again. Period. Like, There's I like don't know eight why. to ten decibels between the mid range and the highs. You can hear that. That's more than twice as loud. <laughs> but look at this, though. Yeah. Why would yep. they allow this I, yep. if they have this and you have That's DSP? That's what I was complaining about in the video. I even said something about how I, they've got to be using DSP already for the speaker. So why didn't why didn't they just fix it, right? I don't know. But also, <laughs> I, I have a typo know. where it says uh, PreSonus Airs 3.5. Instead of second uh, gen, it says tuning. tuning. <laughs> I well, it, it, fits the, uh, it fits this uh, frequency response. Yeah. It, it should be second gen. That's what's yeah. up. So anyway, so weird. I'm curious as to like why they would even do this, but I want to buy these and you know, you can hook me up with a nice um uh clickbaity title. Like uh yeah. I'm going to fix fixing the worst speakers. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Fixing the worst speakers ever. Making yeah. making the best from the worst. I'm doing it. I'm going to order them right after this. Ask yeah. ask Chat GPT. I've done that before. Chat GPT always lets me down because it just gives me it, it gives me the same results. And that's how I know other channels use Chat GPT or some form of AI to generate their <laughs> thumbnails because it's always mm -hmm. like the missing link, the reason why, the blah blah blah. And it's like something just ridiculous. It's like people mm -hmm. but I guess people enjoy their that's what they click on. I'm just 96 bucks. Eris 3.5, 96 bucks right here. Um so am I going to run into something where like the distortion's so horrible and that's why they yeah. didn't Is that what is that what's going to happen? So I don't mm. know what to tell you. I think you're going to have to boost that mid-range because I think oh, it's wow. going to be too hard to cut everything else. Okay. You know, like in terms of equalization and trying to like optimally use equalization, I think it's going to be easier just to boost that mid-range than it is going to be trying to make everything else come down around it. Then you're going to lose all sorts of dynamic range out of that speaker which it already has none of. Yeah, but that's it's a small uh, speaker. So I, I don't want to dock it for that because it's a small speaker, but there's already limited dynamic range out of that as is. Yeah. I don't well, know, man. You're a braver person than I am. I wouldn't even waste my time. I'm just hoping that um that Presona that sees that video fun. and they do better. That just seems like fun. You know what I mean? Like 96 bucks for somebody who's just like, all right, I want to spend a hundred bucks. All right, get that's these exactly and then you equalize your APO. All right. I'm gonna I'll I'll show you how to do it. Do it. Um, all right, we'll see. <laughs> you do it. You do it. Send um, it to me, and then I will. I will try to figure out a way to measure it with the EQ intact. Full okay. clip. Will spin. <clears throat> we'll tag team. Yeah, I mean, directivity is going to stay the same. It's just going to be the on-axis yeah. response that's going to yeah differ. Do you see though, it has almost constant directivity in the high frequency. So you're going to have to do, you're going to have to tilt that. You can't, you don't want to make it flat on axis. You're probably going to want to have to tilt it a little bit to get a good estimated in room. But then um, again, these are monitors. So yeah. you, 
you probably don't want to mess with estimated room. You want to target it for flat on axis because they're going to be near field. That's what so I'm never saying. Mind. Yeah, it, it'll this be a fun channel when you challenge. Yeah, this is what happens when you put two speaker nerds together and they have nothing better to do than to come up with challenges, right? I just want to see if it's possible because it's so horrible. It's so horrible. Like it would be like a relief to hear it out of the box yeah, yeah. with that yeah, frequency yeah. response. And the, even even if I can't target it perfectly, even, even if it's just like, all right, I'm gonna have to compromise. Yeah, I, I can't imagine it's gonna sound worse. I don't even know how to make it sound worse. I don't think you could do much worse than what it is. It that looks like a, terrible, uh, in my opinion. So I don't. That looks like the frequency response of like a hearing aid. <laughs> That's what somebody just said. Was it Paul said? Isn't that a headphone curve? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they got it mixed up. Right? Yeah. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.